The United States coast is illuminated under the shimmering moonlight. The quiet serenity of the night is interrupted by the blip of an enemy aircraft on the radar, moving erratically in and out of visibility. Fighter jets scramble in the background, their roars echoing through the night sky. Amidst the looming threat, an authoritative general, veins bulging and brows furrowed, commands, use the quantum computer. The scene shifts to an enigmatic box, inside which atoms, colder than anything we know in the natural universe, hum with anticipation. As tension builds, we delve into the heart of this technology. Cold Quanta, a trailblazing company, is leading the way. Their mission? To craft a quantum computer that can realign radar systems, compensating for unforeseen failures. But what powers this cutting-edge machine? We're thrust into a microscopic realm where atoms, termed qubits, are the stars. These aren't just regular atoms, they need to be impossibly cold. The colder they are, the better they function as the backbone of the quantum computer. Bo Ewald, the visionary CEO of Cold Quanta, provides insight. Our task, within the next 40 months, is to produce a machine equipped with thousands of qubits. We're aiming to address real-world defense scenarios particularly the radar coverage dilemma. The potential applications of quantum computing aren't limited to defense. Picture this, quantum computers analyzing complex molecular structures for drug design, or optimizing intricate logistical challenges for massive vehicle fleets. Mr. Ewald paints a promising picture. Quantum computers, in their early stages, are primed to offer unparalleled solutions, outclassing even the most advanced supercomputers in certain tasks. But what sets cold quanta apart in this quantum race? While tech giants like IBM and Google are venturing into superconducting quantum computing, cold quanta is pioneering an alternate path. They harness ultra-cold neutral atoms as qubits, while others operate at millikelvin, we dive deep into microkelvin, Ewald boasts, indicating their atoms are colder than anything nature offers. We get an intimate glimpse into Cold Quanta's enigmatic setup. Rubidium atoms, trapped within a tiny glass prism, hover, suspended only by lasers. Professor Andrew Daly from the University of Strathclyde elucidates the significance of temperature. When lasers shine onto these atoms, they decelerate, almost pausing in time, allowing scientists to manipulate them with unparalleled precision. The narrative now unfolds the magic of these atoms. When ordered and manipulated correctly, their capabilities multiply exponentially. Another laser, when flashed, can connect these atoms, paving the way for the representation of intricate mathematical models. However, the quantum realm isn't merely a refined version of classical computing. It's unpredictable, mysterious, and uniquely powerful. As Professor Jonathan Pritchard from Strathclyde states, the end goal is to have the quantum state reflect the solution to the problem at hand. Quantum computers, if harnessed correctly, could significantly outperform traditional computers in terms of speed and efficiency. As the scene shifts back to the imminent threat over the U.S. coast, Cold Quanta's quantum computer churns rapidly. It decodes, calculates, and offers a solution, recalibrating the radar array, pinpointing the aircraft's location. But Cold Quanta isn't the only player in the field. Across the Atlantic, the French firm Pascal collaborates with energy titan EDF. Their task? Creating an energy-efficient model for charging electric vehicles, slashing the time and power required for computations. Christophe Jerzak, the chairman of Pascal, asserts, updating your strategy every hour 
rather than waiting 24 hours, is a monumental shift. Plus, imagine consuming 100 times less energy than a traditional supercomputer. In the twilight of our narrative, as the first rays of dawn emerge, the fighter jets intercept the enemy aircraft. The threat is neutralized, not by sheer firepower, but by the prowess of a new age technology. The quantum computer, with its icy cold atoms, has proven its worth. But as the horizon brightens, one question lingers. Is this the dawn of the quantum age? Only time and the advancements of companies like Cold Quanta and Pascal will tell.